In this video, we're going to take a look at the Arnold Sky Dome. So I'm going to use the shelf menu to create this one. And I'm going to click on the shelf and then click on the viewport. And this will create the Sky Dome light. And the position doesn't really matter in this case. So I'm going to just zero out everything. And uh, the only thing that matters is the rotation when you have an environment light uh, image that you want to use. And I'm going to uh, switch to the light tab and this is where we have all the controls for the environment light and go into hit render and we should uh, see uh, an environment lighting uh, happening on our scene and now the color is set to white and I'm going to change that to have uh, some kind of blue tint and I'm going to reduce the intensity a bit and uh, the, uh, I think everything else is pretty much the same like any other Arnold lights, which we've covered already. And uh, for the portal mode here, I'm going to set it to off. And this comes in handy when we have, uh, when we're lighting interior scenes using uh, sky domes and we're inside the, uh, the interior and we want to get um, uh, environment lighting into our scene. This mode here, along with the portal light, which we'll talk about later, uh, definitely helps to reduce the amount of noise in your scene. And um, so with this with this light, there is few uh, type free way, few ways how we can uh, set colors. And the first one is the simple col color which we're using we're using right now. And I'm gonna change this to texture and uh, grab a texture which I have uh, an HDR image here. And uh, my HDR is is a let long and we need to change the projection from angular to let long and now we have uh, we should get the environment lighting but because it is a texture we need to regenerate the scene so we can uh, hit we can uh, sorry we need to hit the render button again to have Houdini regenerate the scene again and now we have uh, an environment lighting uh, that uses the HDR that I have and now the uh, rotation uh, uh, rotating the environment light will have an effect on the lighting of the scene and you can see we're getting some kind of directional shadows from the environment light uh, it's not that visible but you can see it here and uh, there is also this uh, the resolution of the uh, of the of the environment light and this basically affects how much samples Arnold is going to put to sample the environment light and the bit this generally needs to match the resolution of your image so it's if you have a 4k image you need to set this uh, uh 4000 for example and arnold will uh, uh create uh 4000 samples uh, uh on the hdr itself and use those to solve uh any uh lighting and any lighting uh, needed to to be done with that light and uh, I think that's pretty much it for the environment light. There is the shader mode here, which we're going to talk about in a separate video. Uh, and we're going to go deeper into more details with the Sky Dome. And I uh, think that's pretty much it for the Sky Dome. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.